Nummy, 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 nummy. This strawberry is way too large. That is, that is just not normal. So I watched Tower Heist. I'm surprised by how much I liked this movie. It's really funny and I love the making of feature at the end. It's great. The gag reel's hilarious. I really liked it. The cast is so ridiculous, the people in this film. And <laughs> I recommend you give it a shot. And it's interesting because I like my humor dark and it's not really so much. But some of the delivery is, especially from Casey Affleck and Matthew Roderick, it's kind of just flat and um, I, I don't know. I watched Ides of March. I started it directly after I finished Tower Heist and I had to shut it off after like 20 minutes because it was boring to me. This is, it's, it's superbly acted. George Clooney directed and I mean it's, it's really well done but it's just not my kind of movie. It's very middle-aged man demographic I feel like. I don't know, it wasn't really my cup of tea, necessarily. Neither was Atonement, um, not really my thing, but it was beautiful, this was gorgeous. Well acted once again. James McAvoy I think is great and I don't understand why he's not cast more often. I feel like he's kind of on the same line as like Joseph Gordon-Levitt type of actor. Elijah Wood, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of bracket. I don't really wanna give anything away necessarily and I feel like if I talk about the way that the story is woven together it will give some of it away because I didn't know that it was put together the way that it is and it was a very nice surprise. It was fun to watch it unfold. Love stuff. Ooh! <sighs> I love stuff that's um, out of chronological order or from a different viewpoint where things aren't as they seem. I really like stories like that where it's kind of, you know, sewn together in a interesting way, but it's still one flawless story. Relying on your audience to be smart enough to follow what is going on. And I think that it, it keeps you engrossed as to what could be super boring. I think that's what happened here. It was a very story driven film. Um, the characters, you don't really know anything about their backstories or how they got to where they are what they do when they're not working. You know, it's not character driven in that sense. This is also very artsy. So it's very, you know, style driven. This was story driven and there wasn't a lot going on. So it was just kind of a slow build. I loved the beginning and the end. I loved how it kind of bookended the film. I thought that was really cool. It was just so exciting to see Philip Seymour Hoffman and Paul Giamatti on screen together. Uh, it was like fangirl moment. George Clooney was saying that Evan Rachel Wood's like the best actor he's ever worked with and I love her and I feel like she is so underrated. Chris and Danny, I am looking for your cards. I'm sorry I haven't written back yet. Oh god, moving that chair. Uh, <laughs> I am going to write back to you today. Today is Friday. So by the time this is posted, they'll be on your, on, the, on the way. Oh jeez. Okay. Going in, going in. This is where I'm trying to, I don't know. Use your brain, Caitlin, put the camera down. Here's the cards that I am going to choose from and you're gonna get some random weird card. I just wanted to let you know that they are on the way. <laughs> and I am looking forward to writing to you. That's not, that's not why I haven't written. Giggle, go, geek. Oh geez. This is a good omen. That's the first thing I found, a stocking full of dog bones. You know, it's a good day when we find a stocking full of dog bones. Quote that, put that on a pillow. That's some crochet worthy shit. <laughs> my society six order of my dog on my shirt has come and I'm scared. Okay, I haven't looked at this yet. Oh my God. It looks big. It does look big. Oh. It's my puppy. It's the same color I think as the Matthew Goobler shirts. It's like the weird yes. off color. But he's got his little lamp shade on. We gotta clean it because he just went outside. Hi, bud. <laughs> he looks so sad. It's for his own good. It's tough love. Bottlekins. It's gonna help you get better, I promise. Okay. Aw. My sweet dog. Hi, honey. He's a little bit clumsy. He keeps running into the walls and the chairs and <laughs> he can't quite figure it out. Sun is shining. I have to go to my doctor who prescribes my pills. It's my first and last follow-up visit <laughs> and I don't like her. 
I have to get prescriptions ahead of time to bring to Canada because in Canada they do not fill American prescriptions for anything. I have to load up on some pills before I go. Now the sun's gone. I mentioned the ant, minor ant infestation. Just as Shay Carl, I was getting ready when I was doing that, and then Shay Carl was talking about how ants don't like bay leaves. So I'm gonna try and put some bay leaves around my window and things in my room, just in case that is accurate. Get some of those when we're in Target. Target, home with the bay leaf. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot of trucks. A lot of trucks. I saw a movie like that once. It didn't end well. We just waited forever for this lady in a minivan to order coffee, and now we're waiting forever for them to give her her coffee. <laughs> but we're having fun. We're having so much fun. <laughs> my appointment went well. Um, I got all my prescription and everything figured out and I'm just worried about my juice. I left my juice in the car and it's like 75 degrees out here. It is so warm today. So I'm hoping that my juice hasn't turned into alcohol fermenting or something. That went really well and I'm happy. <laughs> girly up in here for a sec. <laughs> I got some lilac lip gloss. Pretty much matches my nail polish. Um, it's a Revlon. I like to rub it in, I have found in the last few minutes. I like to rub it in and it looks really good over the purple um, lipstick that I already own. I saw Kat Von D having orange lips and I thought it was so cool so I got, I don't know what brand this is. It's orange and it looks really good on. I really like it a lot. NYC, it works okay. I love Sally Hansen, um, but I got two NYC's. I'm gonna try a face. <laughs> my face has been breaking out a little bit more than usual, and I think it's because of my new medication. So I'm going to try the foaming cleanser for sensitive skin, and then on top of it, I'm going to put on dual action moisturizer, so it has salicylic acid in it, which will help fight acne. I'm thinking if I do this, and then I put this on over the top, that should be good. A drugstore. This does not want to stay out of frame. I am a drugstore makeup fiend. I don't like high-end products. I like to use cheapos because you get to buy more of it and it's fun to experiment with. Yep, 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 yep. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Quick side note about the makeup. If you do buy makeup at Target, they do not let you return it unless you make a fuss. So just a warning. 